Hi everyone. For over 20 years, I've painted probably close to a thousand homes. I want to show you some tips and tricks that I have used throughout the years to make cleanup and painting as easy as possible. First thing you do when you take a nap for your roller out of the package, you're going to have some lint on it. Grab some painter's tape, string it out, put it on your foot just to hold it steady and run that roller up and down the tape. And it's going to grab all the lint out. Look at this. The last thing you need is this on your wall. If you're like me, you hate it when the lid sticks to the can. One way to solve this problem is to grab some saran wrap, place it over the can. Then you put the lid on top and look at that. It'll cause a barrier and keep it airtight. If you do happen to get paint inside the lid on your can, all you got to do is grab a little nail just like this one. And all you have to do is hammer it around the edge. Probably four good pops will do it. And as you can see, it leaves enough of a hole for the paint to drain out. Are you sick of paint fumes while you're painting? All you have to do is grab a little bit of vanilla. A tablespoon will be just enough. Add it to your paint. Give it a good stir. It won't change the color of your paint, but it'll take away some of those paint fumes and may even make it smell like cookies. And are you painting quickly around a door or doorknob? All you got to do is grab some aluminum foil, put it up over the doorknob. It holds the shape very well. You paint real quick and you can remove it and use it later. Are you worried about your paintbrush drying out in between jobs? Go ahead and take a glove that you might be wearing, pull it up over the bristles on the brush, and there you go. Keeps it fresh, ready for next time. The worst thing you can do with your nap after you're done rolling is store it in a bad spot. If you lay it in your tray or up against the wall, what happens is it flattens the nap. The best thing for this is a Pringles can. Take the chips out, of course, store the nap inside the Pringles can with the lid and it keeps it fresh every time and it gives you chips to eat while you're painting. If you're like me and you like to paint right out of the can, don't use the edge of the can to wipe off your paint. Grab a rubber band, put it around the handles on the outside, put the rubber band together and you've got the perfect squeegee to take off that excess paint off your brush. Now it's time for cleanup. The one thing you got to make sure is that brush is cleaned every time. Sometimes though, you leave a little bit of some residue on that brush. Over time it builds up. Go ahead and grab you a hair comb. Run it through those bristles. Start with the coarse end and then switch over to the fine end. What it's going to do is make that brush fresh and clean and look perfect every time. I hope these tips and tricks were great for you. Nothing like a fresh coat of paint, especially when springtime comes around to make that house look good. Our first repair, you're going to go to your toilet, take off the back of the lid, take some Kool-Aid and dump it in the tank in the back. We're checking for leaks that goes into the toilet bowl. If you see any discoloration, especially lines running down the bowl, you know that it's leaking and it's time to repair it and get a new flapper. Next, we're going to go to the grout on the floor. Oh, it gets so dirty. All you have to do is take some toilet bowl cleaner, especially the gel formula. Go ahead and place it on the grout and let it sit there for about five minutes. Go ahead and grab you one of those old toothbrushes and you're going to give it a good scrubbing. Not too hard, but just enough. And you're going to start seeing the color change. Grab a sponge, wipe it all up and look at the difference. It restored that grout to its original color. How about when somebody goes in and out of the front door and rattles your door, or especially when the air conditioner comes on? The way to stop the rattling is to grab a cabinet door bumper or felt that goes under a chair door like we have here. Cut it to size, place it on the door jam, and look at that. The door will no longer rattle. How about when you're moving furniture and you got that dent in the carpet that you just can't get rid of no matter how many times you vacuum over it? Take some ice, place it on the dent, let it sit there for a good 15 to 20 minutes. After that time, remove the ice and take a fork and rub it out. Blend in those fibers and you're going to restore that carpet back to its original look. How about a shower head that doesn't work correctly or has rust stains on it? What you have is mineral deposits inside the shower head. You don't have to remove it. Just take a baggie, pour some vinegar in there. Take that bag, place it over your shower head secure it with a clip or a rubber band and you're going to let it sit overnight. As you can see on the next day, a lot of that mineral deposits came through and is sitting in the bag. Remove the bag gently and carefully. Go ahead and take a sponge, wipe it all off. It gets rid of the rust stains and look at that. That shower head works perfectly. 
How about trying to hang one of those pesty pitchers or clocks on the wall that have a string? Catching those on the nail can be a pain. Just grab you a fork, put it on the nail, make sure it's secure, put the string or the wire around the fork, lower it into position, and it'll catch the nail every time. The locks on our door can wear out over time. It's just the mechanism inside. Don't use a liquid spray or any kind of lubricant that way. Grab a pencil, graphite, is a natural lubricant and doesn't dry out. Just rub it all over the teeth, put it in a couple of times, it'll lubricate and look at that smooth action every time. I don't like to use harmful chemicals in my home. Vinegar can be a great biodegradable and green alternative. Freeze vinegar in ice cube trays. Place the ice cubes in your garbage disposal, run water and your disposal. Spray some in smelly shoes, bags, or as an air freshener to remove odors. Place your shower curtain in your washing machine and add one cup of vinegar. Set your washer to large load, warm, and hand wash cycle. The vinegar will remove any soap scum and mold buildup. Place some washcloths in a container and pour vinegar over the cloths. Dilute with a little water. Use to wipe up surfaces, launder and use again. The acidity in the vinegar is what's doing the work while you're cleaning and cuts through grease, soap scum, mineral deposits, and more. Wash your towels with one cup of vinegar and it'll soften your towels. Mix together in a ratio of one to one vinegar and water. You can use straight vinegar and skip the water for a stronger cleaner. Use the multi-purpose cleaner to clean your counters and tile and backsplashes, showers, bathtubs, and sinks. It's not safe for granite or marble counters as they're porous and the acidity is not good for them. If you do not like the smell of the vinegar, you can soak citrus peels in the vinegar for a few weeks, strain it out, and the vinegar will have absorbed the citrus scent. You can also add some drops of essential oil as well. Use it to clean the shelves in your refrigerator and freezer. Spray your fruits and vegetables to clean them and rinse with water before eating. Pour one cup of vinegar and one cup of water in a bowl. Add two tablespoons of lemon juice. The acidity is the cleaning agent in this mixture. Place the bowl in the microwave for approximately seven to 10 minutes, depending upon the strength of your microwave. When done, wipe with a clean cloth. Place one cup of vinegar into a glass and place the glass into the top rack of your dishwasher. Run the dishwasher and it'll clean the soap scum and other junk out of it. I hope this inspired you to try some vinegar cleaning hacks of your own. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.